Ugh, why does shopping make me so tired? Hey babe, I'm home. Oh nice, mail. Did we get anything good? No, it's mostly junk. But you got more fan mail. Oh sweet, I'll have to read it later. Hey, what's this? Nothing, it's just spam mail. No way, our 10 year high school reunion. You were gonna throw this away? Yeah, it's not like we're actually gonna go to that. What are you talking about? We have to go. Don't you wanna see how everyone from high school turned out? No, and why do you? You know if we go, everyone's just gonna want your autograph, right? Eh, I don't mind. I just want to catch up with everyone. You really don't want to see your old friends? What, like Heath Burns? Definitely not. No, your actual friends, like Raven and Cerise and all of them. I mean, I guess. But that means I'd have to see everyone else from high school again, too. No thanks. Come on, it'll be fun. If you don't come with me, I'll just go by myself. Fine, I'll go. Only for you. Now I have to go get ready for my board meeting tonight. Go get them, babe. Oh my gosh, Abby, is that really you? It's so great to see you, it's been ages. I've heard so much about you and your company, you've gotta tell me everything. Oh, I definitely will, and it's great to see you too. You look so 10. Thanks, me and Hunter just got back from an amazing trip to the Maldives. We've been spending our days swimming, sunbathing, and exploring, and it's just been so perfect. Okay, honey, mommy and daddy are gonna go socialize now. You go run around and play. Hey, look who it is over there. Wow, Abby and Cerise. I can't believe it's actually you guys. Raven, it is so great to see you again. And look at this. Yup, babies two and three are on their way. Our daughter is running around here somewhere too. You might have seen her. Babies two and three? Twins. Trust me, we weren't expecting it either. Well, congratulations. It's so cool to see that you two are still together. Thanks, man. We're really happy. Speaking of, when did you and Cerise become a thing? Well, we ended up at the same college and we started to get to know each other better. Hunter asked me out on a date and it's been a love story ever since. In fact, look what he got me for Christmas this year. Wow. Oh my gosh. Congratulations, guys. That is a gorgeous ring. Doesn't Hunter have good taste? It's a real Tiffany's diamond engraved with our initials. Wow. Dexter, you didn't get me a ring that nice when you proposed. Yes, well, we're about to have three kids to raise, dear. We didn't have three kids when you proposed. I think I'm going to go get some snacks and catch up with Hunter. Ugh, my life feels so boring compared to you guys. Seriously, you guys' lives turned out perfect. Uh, we have problems too, you know. I have so much money I had to open a second bank account. So annoying. Yeah, like Hunter pays my bills for me so I don't have to work, and it can get really boring staying at home all day. I feel like I've run out of hobbies to try. Ugh, you guys are not making me feel better. Well, anyway, I think I could use a snack too. I'm gonna go find an employee or something. Excuse me, ma'am. Is the buffet like a serve yourself type of thing or? Abby? Oh my gosh, it's really you! I've read all about you in the news lately! Oh, Frankie, I thought you worked here or something. You look so different. Oh, yeah, I know. Here, hold my baby for a second. Okay, my kitties. I'm gonna go talk with some of my friends now. Be good, my sweet angels. Thanks, Abby. Okay, now you've got to tell me everything about your life. <gasps> Is that Raven and Cerise? Oh my gosh! Hey, you guys! Oh, I'm so happy to see you! It's been so long! Frankie? Wow, I didn't even recognize you. Hey, did you bring Jackson with you today? I'd love to find out what he's been up to lately. Oh, you guys didn't hear the news? Jackson's dead. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Frankie, I'm so sorry for your loss. I had no idea. Oh, it's okay, you guys. Really, it was years ago now. I've mostly moved on. Years ago? What happened? He was so young. 
It happened right after he started college at Harvard. You knew Jackson, he always seemed to have the worst luck. And during his first week of school, he was studying in the Harvard courtyard when he was just struck by lightning right there. Poor thing was electrocuted and doctors couldn't do anything for him. Frankie, I'm sorry, that's terrible. Not surprising, but terrible. Have you been okay? Oh yes, I've been great, honestly. I've taken up some new hobbies and I've adopted 16 cats, and being a cat mom has really given me a new purpose in life. Uh, that's good, I guess. You sure you're not, like, depressed or anything? Oh no, you guys don't have to worry about me. Sure, I've been lonely after Jackson passed, but I've immersed myself in my new hobbies, knitting and sewing. I'm even thinking of starting a homemade cat clothing business. But enough about me, you've got to tell me all about your life, Abby. Is it true that you and Holt Hyde got married? Is he coming to the reunion today? Yes, it's true, and he should be here any minute. He said something about wanting to make a grand entrance. Everybody look! It's THE Holt Hyde, and he's making a grand entrance! Wow, Holt sure likes being famous, huh? You have no idea. This is the best day ever! Hey babe! And hey, Raven, Cerise, Frankie! So great to see you guys! Holt! It's so crazy that you're a huge celebrity now. I was literally just watching the video of you claiming your star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Yeah, you've gotta tell us how you made it big. Well, it's a pretty dope story. I'm sure you all know how I decided to skip out on college to focus on my music, right? Well, I kept it up, and eventually one of my songs blew up on SoundCloud, and a huge producer noticed it. I signed my record deal shortly after that, and things have been taking off ever since. It's been such a cool experience. That's so insane. You've come a long way from that crappy dubstep music you used to play back in high school. Well, I can't take all the credit. Abby's got the real success story here. Oh yeah, Abby, you never told us about your company, Spill. All right, here goes. In college, I partied all day and all night and pretty much skipped all of my classes. I got kicked out, blah blah blah, and eventually decided to quit the partying lifestyle and get sober. After that, I eventually went back to college, got my bachelor's degree in business, and took a boring office job after graduation. Then, I got lucky enough to get a manager position at Louisa Vuitton. I climbed the corporate ladder and got promoted to CEO a few years ago. I've had a great time focusing on my career and expanding Louise Vuitton. Wow, you two are like a power couple. Ha, huh, I guess we have come a long way, haven't we? So, when did you two become a couple? We started dating right before Abby went back to college, actually. We hadn't seen each other since high school and then unexpectedly met again in Alcoholics Anonymous. We were both recovering partiers and, although I still enjoy a good rave from time to time, we were both trying to get our act together and focus on our careers. We started dating, and soon after that, Holt's music took off and I went back to college. We got married right after I graduated. Trust me, I'm definitely surprised we ended up together, but Holt isn't as annoying as he was back in high school. Jeez, that's crazy. Raven, do we have any of Rin's toys in the car? She's getting bored. Yeah, I'll come get them. Be right back, guys. Parenting duty calls. Well, I think me and Holt will go get some food and catch up with you guys again later. Yeah, for sure. One thing I've learned today is that nobody from high school became as rich as us. Aren't you glad you came? <gasps> no way! Abby! Hey, girl! Heath, oh my god, I still see you in my nightmares. <sighs> I missed you too, Abby. You know we've always been frenemies. I suppose you're right. Hey, why aren't you wearing a dress? Oh, don't remind me of that horrible phase. I haven't cross-dressed since college after I realized I could still be stylish in actual men's clothes. But don't worry, I'm just as fashionable as I was in high school. Well, of course. What would Heath Burns be without Glucci? So, what have you been up to, man? Oh, you wouldn't believe. I have been great. A few years ago, me and my boyfriend moved full-time to Paris, France. I knew it. You would not believe the shopping scene in France. They have boutiques upon boutiques upon boutiques. Oh, and guess what? I got a job working as fashion director for Gucci, the Gucci. Well, I don't know how I feel about someone dressed like that working as a fashion director for a major brand, but I'm happy for you, Heath. It seems like you've really matured since high school. I hear you haven't done so bad for yourself either. I mean, you're some fancy business mogul and you married Holt who somehow became famous. What, you guys have gotta be loaded. I mean, yeah, we are millionaires. Multi-millionaires, sweetie, but yes, we actually just signed a lease on the most stunning vacation home in Hawaii that you have to see sometime. 
want to talk about stunning? Then you have got to see my chateau in Paris. I mean, it's practically the definition of luxury. I'll let you two argue about whose house is fancier, and I'm gonna go catch up with some friends. Well, Heath, I never thought I would say this, but it's actually been nice to see you again. I guess you're not as insufferable as I always thought you were. And I guess I could say the same for you. You're not as annoying now that you've got your life together. Frenemies for life? Frenemies for life! Yo, Deuce, is that you? Ah! No, I didn't do it, I'm innocent! Wait, is that you, Holt? I thought you were the FBI. Yeah, it's me, bro. What was that all about? Yo, bro hug! Dude, you're like a celebrity now! Yeah, man, it's crazy. But wait, why did you think I was the FBI? Come close, I gotta talk real quiet. So, the thing is, I'm kinda on the run from the cops right now. It's no biggie, just a little heist that got out of control, but I gotta keep it low-key until I can save up enough money to buy a counterfeit passport and change my identity. What? Deuce, that's insane! No wonder I haven't been able to get in touch with you. Yeah, man, trust me, I've wanted to catch up, but I've been all over the globe hiding from the law. It's been so wild, dude. I hung out in Mexico, Brazil, Spain. I even spent a few months in Russia when the FBI closed in on my location. Jeez, I'm sorry life's been so hectic for you, bro. If only we could have collabed together on some music and kept you out of trouble. Hold up, Holt, is that a real Rolex? Yeah? Can I have it? No. Uh, that's understandable. Excuse me, could I have everyone's attention, please? Hello everybody, I'm Gillington Weber, or Gil for short. You may remember me when we went to high school together. I was the one who was lovingly nicknamed a loser nerd by my peers. But I'm not here to reminisce about high school. I'm here to talk about politics. I knew a life in politics was for me when I was in college, and I made it my mission to serve my community. And now, I would like to officially announce my campaign for presidency in 2032. Though the election is still two years away, it's never too soon to start campaigning and spreading my message. I hope you will read about the policies I support, and I know I can count on your vote on election day. Thank you all, and I'll be around if you have any questions. With Gil, we will! That guy is running for president? I kind of thought Gil would have died by now, to be honest. I mean, all of those poisonous animals he used to have. Sooner or later, he's bound to get bitten by one, right? Gil! I'm so excited to hear you're running for president! You've definitely got my vote! Frankie, I'm honored to have your support! By the way, I was heartbroken to hear about Jackson's passing. I hope you're doing okay. Oh, thank you. I've been good, really. I know if Jackson were here, he'd vote for you too. He would be so proud of you! <laughs> I'm here, everybody! Am I late? What? what? Jackson, aren't you supposed to be dead? You guys thought I was dead? That explains why no one's visited me at the hospital. Jackson? This, this can't be real! Ah! Frankie? Is that really you? Oh, is this a dream? Am, am I seeing things? Oh my gosh! Jackson, you're, you're actually here! Frankie, I missed you so much! Can someone explain what's going on here? Jackson, why does your wife think she's a widow? I think I can explain. When that lightning bolt struck me in the Harvard courtyard nine years ago, doctors rushed me to the hospital and pronounced me dead. Days later, my heart miraculously started again, and I woke up in complete darkness. It's one of those classic buried alive situations, I guess. Anyway, I managed to dig myself out of my grave, and I tried to find Frankie and the rest of my friends, but it was too late. Frankie had moved away to grieve, and everyone else had gone to college in other places. I spent years looking for anyone I knew, but I had no luck since everyone thought I was dead. When I heard about this high school reunion, I knew I had to make an appearance and set things straight. What is happening? I'm having deja vu. Jackson, haven't you been buried alive before? Yeah, I just have bad luck, I guess. But if you were struck by lightning years ago, then what are all of your injuries from? Well, let's see. I broke my arm falling down the stairs a few weeks ago, and I broke my leg after tripping while on a run. My neck broke when I tried taking horse riding lessons and was thrown off a horse. And finally, my eye was gouged out just a few days ago by a wild bird who flew down and attacked me. Jesus Christ, someone put this dude out of his misery. Oh, my poor Jackson. I'm so sorry I couldn't be there to protect you. It's okay. I'm just happy I finally get to see you again. Oh, me too. This is the happiest day of my life. I think we should plan a vacation and renew our vows. That sounds amazing. Let's go. Holt, thank you so much for making me go to this thing. 
Abby, it's time for dinner. What? I said it's time for dinner. Abby, it's time for dinner. What? Oh, come on, Abby. Ugh, what are you talking about? Wait, I'm not married to Holt, am I? What? No. Frankie made us all dinner. Now get up and come eat. You've been asleep for like hours. Ugh, what a dream. This is the future.